Hey guys, welcome to another video, Alex here. And today I wanna to talk about how you can hide the camera cutout on your Samsung device when you're watching videos. So if you're ever on YouTube or Netflix or you're watching any shows, the camera cutout at the top can be a little bit invasive. And I know a lot of people don't like it because it sticks out when you're watching any shows and it can be a little bit distracting. But fortunately, there is a way to get rid of it if you don't want it. And to do that, what we're gonna do is go into our phone settings, go down to display, and then scroll down until you see camera cutout. So there's a section right here in your display settings just for that. So you can see that when we have the camera cutout, there's obviously that little circle right there, but we can actually hide it by placing a black bar up here over the cu camera cutout. Now this will reduce the total screen size and real estate of your screen when you have this enabled because there's just going to be a black bar up here and it won't let any content go over that black bar, which I don't really like because I would rather have a bigger screen. Fortunately though, Samsung has made some great improvements to this because how it used to work before is this would just work system wide. So if you enable this, it would just always have a black bar up here, no matter what you're doing. But now Samsung has made some improvements so that you can apply this only to certain applications. So if you scroll down here, you can see all of the applications that you have installed on your phone. So if you only want this camera cutout to work maybe while you're watching YouTube, just go ahead and tap on this and you can see you get an option here that says show camera cutout or hide camera cutout. So you can go ahead and just say, I want to hide my camera cutout while I'm watching YouTube videos. And now to show you what this would look like without the camera cutout, let's say we go into our YouTube application, play a video and then make it full screen. When we pinch to go zoom in like that, you can see that there's a black bar up here and we do not see the camera, the camera cutout. It's right there. The bar stops right after the camera cutout and it's no longer protruding into our video. So we get to enjoy a nice seamless video experience without getting that camera cut out in the way. Now to show you what this looks like otherwise, if we enable that camera cutout, we go back into here, we say show camera cutout. Now we go back into YouTube, then we play that same video. When we pinch to zoom, you can see that the display goes all the way to the edge of our display and that camera cutout is visible right there. And a lot of people don't really like that. It does kind of get in the way of the viewing experience if you're ever watching any shows. And if you're one of those people and you don't really like that camera cutout being in the middle of whatever it is you're watching, you can definitely go ahead and take advantage of this camera cutout feature that Samsung has included for us. So just go ahead and go through any of these applications and on app by app basis, and you can just exclude where the camera cutout would show up. So if you're watching Netflix, Crave TV, or any other streaming services, I really like that Samsung allows us to do this on an app by app basis instead of just system wide. But there you go, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you don't like the camera cutout, this is a really great way to hide it on certain applications, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.